and this is where a an 18-wheeler uh, hauling cars has crashed into at least one other vehicle. You can see back here that the uh, the impact zone a little bit uh, to uh, the south there, and the uh, all the papers and things that have been strewn about. Looks like the truck jackknifed and went off the road, and then there was a, a pretty large fire. You can see that the uh, front of the truck is pretty much burned away, and many of the cars that the truck was hauling also burned, and then the other vehicles that were involved uh, burned as well. So there was a pretty large fire here. We're uh, I'm not sure, at least at this point, about any injuries. I know that that information is still coming uh, from DPS, uh, but uh, the 93 is shut down in both directions in this area. Uh, for folks heading to the north on 93, uh, the backup is only about a half a mile or so because they've cut all traffic off. You have to get off at the 71, but folks coming south uh, from, say, uh, Kingman area, uh, you're waiting in a few miles of backup here, mostly trucks uh, trying to get down the, the 93 this morning, but the backup is pretty uh, long and uh, no timeline, at least at this point, from DPS when they think that this road is going to be back open. Uh, Troy, goodness. Uh, it's hard to imagine when you see a crash like that. I mean, we don't see something like this uh, very often. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the 93 does have its share of, uh, of crashes from time to time, but uh, this is a, a pretty incredible looking crash here with this, uh, the truck calling all the cars plus the fire and then uh, all the debris that's everywhere. So there's a lot to sort out for investigators and a lot of cleanup still le uh, left to be done. No tow trucks on scene right now, uh, so this is going to be quite some time before this is open. Yeah, with several cars there and a big cleanup uh, that will take place. Thank you so much, uh, Troy Bear, live in Skyfox this morning.